Hi and welcome to Module 2. We're going to be talking about how to hold the guitar and the pick. Um, first of all, uh, it depends on whether or not you're going to be sitting or standing. All right. But the key, one of the key things about holding a guitar is that you don't want to hold the guitar with either one of these hands or arms. Okay? Why that is, is because you, as you play, you're going to be wanting this hand to be free so it can move up and down the frets as you're playing, and this hand, arm, has to be free so that it can swing and play um, chords. So if you're sitting down like I am right now, you're going to take your guitar and with this curvature, that fits nicely, bam, on your leg. Okay? Then you should be able to, if you've got a strap like I do, the whole thing should sit like that. I'm not even touching it, right? And what a lot of people tend to do is they tend, to, as they uh, start to play out, they tend to tilt the guitar this way in order to see the frets because they want to see where they're playing on the neck, right? You want to always have the guitar as vertical as possible, okay? And that's going to become uh, um, evidently clear how important that is as we start to play. Um, you're going to find that the angle that your hand is going to be at is going to be a lot less if your guitar is like this. The more it is like this, the more you're going to have to curve your hand over and it's going to become very uncomfortable. Um, one of the things you're going to notice, and we'll get to this in a minute, that there's dots on the frets, but there's also dots on the edge. Okay, So if you're looking for where you need to play, eventually you're going to use these dots as kind of a road map to find out where you are on the guitar. Okay, so that's how to hold the guitar. And again, if you're standing up, you want a strap. Again, you do not want to hold the guitar with either one of these hands. Okay, let the strap do all the work for you so that your hands are free to do whatever. Okay, and holding the pick, again, this is a subjective thing. Some people like to hold it like this. I'll get up close so you can see what I'm talking about here. Some people like to hold it like this. And this is a black pick against black. Hold on a sec. Yeah, there we go. So some people like to hold it like that and basically point it straight with the thumb and the finger and then play the guitar like this. Now, I, that's fine if, if, if it works for you. I've always found that difficult and it almost felt like I was doing target practice trying to hit the right strings. What I found is that I had a lot more accuracy when I took the pick like that and turned it so now as you can see it's perpendicular to my thumb so it's pointing at the ground when my thumb is pointing at the wall right the reason I find that easier is as you play and you're going to be resting your hand over the uh, sound hole as you play you're gonna find that just laying your thumb on the strings itself is going to ensure that the pick is through the, the strings and ready to play. So that's personally my favorite, but you know, if you uh, care to use the pick, you know, pointing, like I said, with your uh, finger and your thumb, there it is, uh, pointing with your finger and your thumb, you can use that way as well. Either method is acceptable. Okay, that's how to hold the pick and hold the guitar. So, why don't we move on to anatomy of the guitar, so we know what we're talking about here. So we'll do that in Lesson 3, Module 3, so we'll see you then.